Welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is Mini Book Pro by Noel Qualter and Roddy McGee. Before we do this, very importantly, can you like and subscribe? And even more importantly, can you have a look at onlinemagic.co? That is my membership site, been going 10 years. We've just had John Allen on, who did a stunning session. And, uh, and we have special guests every now and then, live sessions every week uploaded. There are now 150 on there, I think, and over 900 videos of me teaching stuff and just about to put on a new course uh, section on rubber band magic. So there's everything you need on there, onlinemagic.co, learn from a pro. Right. So this is the first trick from Roddy McGee and Noel Quilter's new company, Trick Trick Boom. And what a very interesting one it is. You need to listen to this review because um, there's lots to be said. Now, a little bit of history. So full disclosure, Noel Quilter's a good friend of mine, as is Roddy. Noel showed me the idea of this and the prop used in this and sort of, I think he showed me the whole trick or something anyway at the session convention, but he was working on it then. He's been working on it for an awful long time. I mean, that was in January, right? And it's kind of end of September now. Uh, and I really, really loved the idea of it. I thought it was sweet, I thought it was quirky, I thought it was cute. And as with Roddy's stuff as well, like Roddy's stuff is the same. I love it, I love all of it. Now, some, some is more commercial than others, some are a bit niche, but I just love the thinking and all that kind of stuff. But that's all well and good. But does it work for lay people? Is it going to go out and get the reactions? And because of all that bias in my head, I was kind of, you know, because none of us are immune to it, right? If we've got a friend that does something, we, we are biased, even if we're trying not to be. We can't help it. So I thought, right, well, I love it, and, but I need to take it out and show people. And what I usually do is I take it out and show people in the cafes around here, but people kind of know me, and I wanted to take it out on a paid gig. And I wanted to take it out on a paid gig that was a good, you know, like a, it was a well-paid one, it was people that have seen a lot of entertainment. It was a big corporate event, and I took it out, performed it loads, and that's what this review is based on, right? It's, it's based on the responses, and it's also based on the fact that I like it and all that kind of stuff. But first things first, what is the, the trick? So this is an impossible object trick, which is always a bonus. So they end up with something cool to keep. And it's got, and it's a card trick, yes, but it's not really, because it starts off with something completely different. You show either on your phone or their phone, which is very important, you can pull this, this little MacBook Pro out of their phone. You show it and you say, look, it just, looks just like the Apple page. Um, obviously, it's not exactly because of copyright reasons, but it, it looks really, really good. There's a little animation of it, of the computer, and I say, um, Apple have got its new computer coming out. They've just released the iPhone 15. That's gonna date well, isn't it, in 10 years? Um, and, uh, and they've got this out, but they're not really telling those people about it anyway. And I pull the, the thing out of it. And then when you pull this out, reaction number one, always, always a really, really good reaction because you do actually pull it out of the screen. The, the, the image vanishes from the thing as you pull it out. Easy, 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 good reaction. And by that time you've got them. Then it goes into this card trick. Uh, you say, right, I'm gonna, um, the good thing about this is it doesn't look like much, but it's, it's really powerful. So it does card tricks. And I say that, and just justify that, by the way, you can just say that as Noel does, it does card tricks. But I kind of go, well, the way they demonstrate the power of these things, they obviously have these demos. And um, the way they did this on, on all the ads was that, you know, it did a trick, a proper card trick, not like a rubbish, you know, sort of AI one, an actual card. So anyway, do the card trick, they choose a card, blah, 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 sign their name on it. You give that to someone to hold, you go through the thing, they look at it again and it's it turns in they've realized it's different it's actually a folded something it's not what it was they unfold it and it's the playing card so there's three moments in this three big moments there's the moment you put it out the screen big response there's the moment they go oh it's not that thing anymore what's going on and then you, they open it and it's their card it's easy to get caught up in the fact that just with the that turns into the other thing which is amazing but what I didn't realise was the strength of them realising it was it, it was their card because obviously they've signed it and now it's not a playing card. It's it's got a different back and all that kind of stuff. When they unfold it, very rambly. Sorry, but all that's important because you get those three moments. It's 
The reactions I will say were absolutely brilliant. And some tricks I talk about, like level one, like John Allen's destination box, and like this, get a reaction that feels different from a lot of tricks. Part of it is because it's a free stage thing. Part of it is, but, but it's that moment of going, and you know, credit has been given, you know, Dan House, the idea um, was not just from Dan House's lit, but, but the idea of lit was a, a thing with a matchbook. And as Noel says, you can't, there's not a lot of matchbooks in this country. So it, it, it didn't seem to fit as well. It's still a great trick, but, there's MacBook Pros everywhere, and obviously when you show that, it's so funny. You, you, if you really play it straight and kind of go, yeah, it's great, it's pretty powerful, you know, don't acknowledge the fact that you pull it out of the screen and they're acknowledging it, brilliant. So, brilliant trick, great responses, but you're going to want to know how easy it is, all that stuff, can you do it surrounded, etc. There's nothing in here that is difficult. There is a move, and a lot of you are going to know the move, to get the card into the state that you need to get it into. This is aided by a thing that has been that you do or been done. That's all I'm gonna say. I know I could just say, but I'm not gonna. It is very, very easy. But what it's even more aided by is the fact that this routine, at all the moments you've got to do something that those of you that aren't as familiar with cards and moves and misdirection, if you're sort of a bit more new to the game, you're gonna really worry about but every moment you have got all the time in the world to do what you need to do because the scripting and it's not like a difficult script but all all the doing of the bits you do where you go you know type the name of your card in there everything is built so you have all the time in the world to do what you got to do so much so and this is the truth and i do have footage but i haven't got it yet because it's on a gopro that someone else took is that i did the thing wrong realized i'd done it wrong had to redo it realized I'd done it wrong again, then redid it, then did the routine. By that time, I'd kind of given up. I thought they'd seen everything and they hadn't seen a thing. So that's going to be the bit. So the pain points of this trick are the misdirection you're going to need for the things. That's all sorted. The moves themselves, easy. There's another move in this that's super, super easy, but it's going to require that kind of boldness that you only get from practice, rehearsal and doing it. So on that, and this is all, I did it, the first three or four times I did it, it was awful. I, for my brain, the difficulty isn't the slights at all because I've spent hours and years and years doing them. It's the remembering the stages. And there's not many stages to remember, but I have ADHD, so, when, so anything like that is a real struggle for me. So quite a few times, halfway through it, I did something wrong, I forgot something, I did the thing, but because I practiced it and rehearsed it, I knew how to, how to correct that. So slight wise, you know, things like double undercut, a very easy switch, I'm gonna say that really easy, that requires no difficult sleight of hand that you're gonna be able to do very, very quickly. And the thing you have to do to get it in its state, again, made very easy by a thing. And courage, and that's it, right? But that is what magic's about. You know, if, if, uh, for me, if you, if you don't wanna do that and have that courage to use misdirection stuff, then Magic's going to be difficult anyway, because all, all moves require that, I think. Well, most do. So you're all going to be able to do it with practice and with a bit of rehearsal. There's nothing in it that you're going to have to take. It's not, you have to do a classic pass if it takes years to get right or anything like that. You're going to feel that, that thing of, this is scary, am I going to get away with it? And you know what? The good news is, if you don't get away with the certain bits that there's a basically when you put it in their hand and it's a card what you want is them at the very end to realize now quite a few times I did this and they realized before because I, that I got all tongue-tied and weird and I didn't misdirect properly away from it it didn't matter the point is it was that and now it's that and they never see the bit where it becomes that if you see what I mean so that's so if they get that early and go, oh, something's different, it doesn't matter. Because they go, oh yeah, I think I did it in one of the bits of footage. I said, oh, has it done it already? And they just did it early. They noticed it early and that was totally fine. The good thing is, so many people don't do this on tutorials. 
they go through all these pain points and they say, you're going to feel this, you're going to have this, this is what you're going to experience at this point. They do like a director's commentary over performances, which I think should be way earlier on in the tutorial because I think it's one of the most important bits and so make sure you watch it all. They go through the moves, even the kind of double undercut, all that kind of stuff. All the moves are in here, taught by Noel and Roddy really, really well. So you get all the detail. And when I opened the, I said to Noel, it was a three, nearly three hour or two and a half hour, three hour download. And I looked at it, I said, you are joking me. And he's like, don't worry about it. You know, it's got all the tutorials of the moves in. But I did watch it all. And I'm so glad I did, because right up to the end, there are little hints, little tips, loads of things that are going to make it easier for you. And once you've learned it, you realise that actually you can mess with it quite a lot and come up with your own ways of doing things. So there's various switches you can do. Noel's got a different one than Roddy, but you're going to be able to come up with your own because it's that intuitive. It's really exciting. Once you get this and you realise you can do what you want to do, it's brilliant. And then you start getting really bold with it. I will say that the, I've been talking about putting it on the hand, put it on the table, just as strong, really. Not quite as strong as in the hand, but it, it's incredible. And that's even easier. All right. So... I think this is really special. It's cute, it's quirky, but it's not just cute and quirky, it's really, really strong. And they end up with this, this you know, they do kind of go, can I keep this? You know, when, when you give someone a normal sign card, it's like, yeah, great, whatever. But they're really like, can I keep this? Good? And they're talking to people about it. So I'm really excited about it. I'm really glad I could review this after taking it out again and again and again and again and again and knowing that it wasn't just that Noel and Roddy are friends of mine, I like them and I like what they do. And if this is the first release from Trick Trick Boom, it's going to be really exciting. So if you're interested in this, do use the links below. I, I think that, you know, that it's going to be sold everywhere and all that kind of stuff. But I think this is one where, you know, new company and all that, it's a big risk. And I'm very glad that I can review something that I genuinely think is really, really good. Without a shadow of a doubt, this is going in my set. I'm, I'm never going to stop doing it, and I don't say that very often. Um, by the way, I do have a playlist on it called Steve's Favourites, and not that much gets into it. Uh, so have a look at that. Now, refills is going to be, obviously, people go, oh, you have to buy refills. The price at the moment, I'm not going to say it because it might change in a year. I might go down, it might go up. But it's, re it's really, um, you get 52 refills. And it's really good, a really good price, all right? You, it's going to be well worth it. They're going to last you for ages. Uh, it's not a sort of, well, it is a sort of trick you're going to want to do a lot, but 52 is quite a lot. And if you think of, you know, if you do fork bending and stuff, that's pretty much a quid a fork or whatever for one, for one trick. And this is a, a good, solid routine that lasts a fair amount of time. So you could just do this and that, or maybe one other thing, and that'd be a good thing for a table. Um, and just brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Clean, you know, you end like super clean as well which i love once you're done you're done there's nothing to see uh and it's an instant reset pretty much you know a second and i hate doing resets and i hate putting loads of different cards into place you don't have to do any of that so there you go um loads more to say probably sorry it's a bit of a rambly one it always is but i'm trying to edit myself in real time so i don't give too much and just go on for two hours I will be talking about this live if you've got any questions on Thursdays at five. I know I haven't done the odd one recently because it's been super busy, but um, make sure when you like and subscribe, you hit the bell icon, but, and you will know when I go live or not. So that is mini book by uh, mini book pro by no quarter, Roddy McGee, highly, highly recommended. I've had so much fun with it. And I think you will too. Uh, have a good one. Take care and have a look at uh, onlinemagic.co and Roddy and Noel are going to be coming on talking about creativity and stuff on there too. Take care.